So a short description of the sites of interest. So the creek is a uh, major tributary of the Pasig River that passes through the UP Diliman campus. So it's located in the middle of the academic oval behind a uh, Quezon Hall. So what I'll be observing is only a portion of the creek. So a smaller portion of the creek. So a larger portion is located at uh, Barangay UP campus. So that's another uh, water quality assessment, I guess. But uh, for now, we'll be inspecting uh, the creek in UP Diliman. observation only uh, less than a feet pa lang parang di mo na nakikita yung uh, what's up what's underneath the water so color green that is some of their physical characteristics Meron ding uh, effluent po ng wastewater ng uh, domestic household or from the university itself. So pag nakita nyo yung bubbles, so presence po yun ng laundry detergents. So may nitrates or phosphates na nag-insan nag nag ng algal bloom or eutrophication. So ganun. So in terms of organic organisms, uh, evident naman siguro na madami bacteria or protozoa pero tapos insects ganun pero in terms of fishes uh, parang wala na mga presence so polluted siguro talaga yung uh, water ng creek na maging unlivable para sa mga fishes. So as proof ng kanyang uncleanliness, uh, meron tayong mga workers dito na uh, nag-clean up ng uh, creek. So yung ginagawa nila, uh, tinatanggal nila yung algae on the lake surface para medyo clean naman siya. Pero in observation pa lang, uh, in other physical qualities, uh, polluted naman talaga yung lake. So, uh, hopefully, uh, may improve yung water quality dito. <laughs> Sayang kasi. <laughs> Before, uh, healthy enough po siya sa for bongos or tilapia and even ducks so parang mag feed po yung mga students dito. So, it's sad to say na uh, nag-decline yung quality. Pero hopefully, uh, mababalik yung beauty niya.